Hi everyone, I'm Brigadier General Laura Clellan, the Adjutant General of Colorado. I'm Command Sergeant Major Bill Woods, the Command Senior Enlisted Leader to the Adjutant General of Colorado. August 26 marks Women's Equality Day and the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, which gave women, but not all women, the right to vote. Before they gained the right to vote, women, Blacks, and Native Americans in America experienced taxation without representation, something the founders of our country fought against under British rule. Leading the way in 1893, Colorado became the first state in the nation to extend full voting rights to women. Many suffragists campaigned from Colorado for national suffrage. Colorado was way ahead of its time. It took more than 25 years for the 19th Amendment to be ratified. Seven decades of political activism by suffragists by both women and men made this possible. Most Blacks and Native Americans were still unable to vote. Voter ID, literacy, and tax laws stood in their way of exercising their right to vote. It took until the Voting Rights Act of 1965 to overcome legal barriers at the local and state levels that prevented these U.S. citizens from becoming registered voters. Though most women could vote after 1920, they were still not able to officially serve in the military until World War II. Then the nation realized that it could not win the war without women's contributions. During World War II, 350,000 women proudly served in our armed forces. Women, in a civilian capacity, also joined the war effort and for the first time received equal pay for equal work during the war. This came to an end after the war when personnel policies reverted to pre-war gender roles. Three years after the end of World War II, women gained permanent status in the military through the Women's Armed Services Integration Act but most career fields were not open to women. In 2020, the Colorado National Guard is empowering women to serve in all career fields and at all levels, but we still have a way to go. Our goal is to have representation in all career fields. We must challenge our leaders to identify and remove barriers to full representation. Women's Equality Day gives us an opportunity to reflect on the many benefits of true equality and the power of working together to uphold the Constitution and everything for which it stands. Let's continue to build a culture within our organization that ensures equality, inclusion, and leverages the power of all of our diversity.